My life involves using all types of paper all the time. And I know that unlike fossil-based materials, the raw material for paper is at least renewable. But what about all the trees? Are we depleting a natural resource or supporting something sustainable? I've heard about the Swedish company Surgis claim to make the world's most sustainable pulp. And of course wood pulp is the starting point for most paper products. So I guess the only way to find out if they can back up this claim is to pay them a visit. Today I'll catch up with production manager Karin Dernegaard and mill manager Karsten Viga, who are responsible for this impressive facility. So Karen, I'm told this is a combined facility. Can you explain exactly what that means? That means that we have a sawmill and a pulp mill in the same location. Ah. So we provide them with heat mm -hmm. and uh, electricity oh. and we get sawmill chips and bark in return. Thinking of the overall operation, tell me a bit about the carbon footprint. Uh, of course, when we have disturbances, maintenance shutdowns, yeah. we need to use fossil fuel, right. but okay. we try to keep it as low as possible, the right. consumption. Okay. Uh, and another aspect, of course, which um, I guess must be very important for a mill like this is water footprint. Tell me a bit about that. We get our water from M1. It's a river north of us. Yeah. Uh, it's surface water. Yeah. Uh, and we have had a lot of uh, projects going on with mm -hmm. uh, trying to reduce the consumption okay. and we're actually top class. Uh, really within the world of pulp you're yeah. top class. Okay. So um, you're generating your own electricity then? Yeah that's right. We have a, a type of system that we, where we, when we split the wood into the, the pulp yeah. The other part generates energy yes. that we do in the recovery boiler okay. and with this we can uh, start to drive turbines yes. and then we generate electricity. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Are you self-sufficient in electricity? We are more than self-sufficient. We have at least uh, roughly 100% and that means that we can supply to the grid and right. it's green electricity. Really? Yes, okay. we do so. Yeah. It's not only inside the, the, the operations, yeah. we only give to external customers. Right. Mm. Um, I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent here because thinking of a huge industrial operation like this one, you must uh, attract the attention of the health and safety people. I would say this is today my topic agenda in every meeting everywhere and that's quite clear. As you see we are quite high here. We had a lot of, 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 of risk in this type of business yeah. but if you have it on a structural way preventive and you have a big involvement of the organization, yes. it, it's get better and better and better all the time.